Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Doodle Crate for the month of August, and I'm really excited to get into it with you. If you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to provide you with different unboxings like this of resources we like to use for homeschool or for different curriculums we have used and enjoyed and for different ways to organize. And I'm excited to get feedback from you as well. So if you're interested in those types of things, please subscribe below and let's get into this box. So when we open it and drop the instructions on the floor, this is what it looks like. And this month we're making handcrafted paper bowls and they look very, very cute. So these are the instructions with a little bit of history, just brief right here about paper in the world and what you can use to make with paper. So these are all the instructions. And again, something I really love about KiwiCo is that they provide you with very detailed instructions. So in here we have this bowl that's full of a bunch of goodies. So we have a little sponge and a measuring cup, popsicle stick without the popsicle, and some little strips of paper. We have some other fun shapes here and some little fastener pin things. And this bowl, you could probably use it as a hat. And then we have this pan. And we have this very nicely organized, um, I can't think of the name for it right now. <laughs> it just went through my mind. If I think of it, I'll, I'll let you know, but nicely organized here, little squares. And then I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a spider or a crab. <laughs> I don't know. There's a few of them. So we'll see what we use that for. And then some glue and then some like butcher paper type stuff. It's like waxy paper and that's all. So this looks exciting. There's a lot of stuff in here that I am really not sure what we're supposed to do with it and how this is all gonna turn out, but I'm excited to let my daughter get into it and make bowls. So we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so we finished our doodle crate for this month and Alana is really excited to show you what she made. You wanna show them? Hold them up. So she made a couple of bowls. And what was your favorite part? Um, I liked how I got to decorate them and choose what I got to do. What was the inside of this supposed to look like? Well, how um, I made up my own one, but it's had a watermelon and different colors. Yeah, so she made the inside look like a watermelon, but she wanted the outside to look like her own thing. So it's very fun, huh? What was the hardest part? Um, well, oh, trying to get this all flat. Trying to get it flat, so the tissue paper right here, you have to use a little sponge and glue it on, huh? It's hard to get it all flat. But you did a great job. So. This bowl is pretty cool because it starts out looking like this. I mentioned all the little spider web, the spider leg things or whatever in the intro, and that's what these are. And you fill them, the holes with tissue paper that's already pre-cut to exactly the sizes you need, so that is great. <laughs> we don't have to worry about cutting it. And then you will glue them in and you put this together like a puzzle and it makes a bowl. So I thought that was super cool. And she was able to do most of that herself. She glued all the tissue paper in and I just helped her align them a little bit better and hold it together while the glue dried. But other than that, she did a great job doing it. And then this one, she did like paper mache. So they have the mold that you made it over and then you take it off. It sat for 24 hours, so that is something to consider with this project is that it takes a little bit more time and so it went for 24 hours then we took it off and then you have to still do the color tissue paper because it's just white after that so then you put the color on and you have to let this side dry and then you can do the middle so this project does take a few kind of a couple days as you just let everything dry 
just so you know, it does take a little bit more time. It's not something that can just quickly be done in an afternoon. But we really liked it. And something that I loved about it is that these aren't the only two bowls she can make. We still have obviously this to make another one of these crazy puzzle bowls. And then we have more paper and the mold that she can make another bowl like this. And there's lots of tissue paper she can put on it as well. And so I thought this month's doodle crate was excellent and we had a lot of fun making it, huh? Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so if you want to see more unboxings like this or more homeschool ideas, please subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time.